Please be seated. Yes, Madam Registrar, we call the proceeding. The Special Tribunal for Lebanon is sitting in an open session for a solemn undertaking of defense counsel in the case STL 1101 Ayash et al. Met the rule. Thank you, Your Honor, Vice uh, President, uh, Madam Registrar. This is a great honor and a great privilege for the head of the Defense Office uh, to introduce to you the eight councils that I assigned in order to defend the interest of uh, the accused who will be uh, judged uh, um, by default in absentia. We wish that each of these counsel take oath uh, before Madam Registrar, before you, uh, President and Vice President, in this solemn ceremony which opens a new period for our tribunal. Until now, the Defense Office represented defense, and from now on, the Defense Office will be alongside those who will be genuinely in charge of defense. Madam um, President, sir, I would like Madam Registrar to call each uh, council so that they may take their oath. Thank you. Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Vice-Président. President, Vice President, Madam Registrar, uh, Councils, on behalf of the uh, Prosecutor and on our, my own behalf, allow me to welcome you to the uh, Tribunal. I know that uh, Prosecutor uh, Belmar uh, would have had great pleasure to welcome you if he had been here. He uh, wanted me to extend his welcome to you today. You are now amongst us in the tribunal at long last, uh, some say. And it's true that the purpose of this tribunal is to um, organize a trial. But a trial can only take place after lengthy, uh, complex, and uh, very careful uh, investigations. Uh, the uh, prosecutor's office will continue to conduct such investigations. A trial uh, will start uh, um, within a time frame specified by the uh, trial chamber. This is very good news. A lot were convinced that the challenge of such a trial could not be met. Unfortunately, this trial will be in absentia. We would have preferred that we had a uh, adversarial trial that you would uh, represent here the four accused and not simply their interests. A trial in absentia, but uh, justice will be rendered. But this nonetheless will be some kind of uh, failure or um, a show, a sign of powerlessness uh, for justice. The accused are deemed to be uh, in Lebanon, but cannot be found. We will conduct this trial, making sure that serious investigations continue in the Le Lebanon in order to uh, um, uh, ident identify and refer these uh, accused to the uh, tribunal. We will determine together, under the control of the presidents of the uh, uh, tribunal, the terms and conditions and uh, time frame of this uh, in absentia trial, knowing that this is not, by definition, at the final trial and that it m most likely will be resumed uh, at any time. The prosecutor will launch uh, the procedure professionally, loyally, and in full compliance of uh, the tribunal's rules. We will also do this uh, respecting and trusting the defense that you embody. Our mission, our very um, reason for being is to help uh, the tribunal uh, establish the truth, uh, ascertain the truth. Um, as we were saying recently, uh, when a um, 
uh, delegation from the uh, tri uh, Tripoli bar was on visit. This um, we uh, must respect the fundamental rights of the accused, that of the victims and uh, of the witnesses. Rest assured that we will do this. So we will meet uh, in uh, this tribunal in the months to come. So let me repeat, welcome again. Uh, we will meet at the end of the afternoon. The whole team of the uh, prosecutor's office will be uh, meeting you. Um, the prosecutors, uh, deputy prosecutors, and other team members. Uh, and I imagine that you await with impatience a disclosure of uh, uh, the uh, um, evidence. And uh, we will meet uh, at greater length later today. So I have finished, uh, uh, President, now. And again, welcome to all. Thank you. Please call uh, the names of counsel in succession in descending order of seniority so they may make their formal declaration. Thank you, Mr. President. I will ask counsel to come and approach the podium here to sign the document, which I will then sign after. Mr. Antoine Korkmaz, please. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and ex exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for Counsel appearing before the Tribunal. Thank you. Mr. Eugene O'Sullivan. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously. I, I will scrupulously respect um, uh, professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for the for counsel appearing before the tribunal. Mr. David Young. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for counsel appearing before the Tribunal.
Mr. Yasser Hassan. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for Counsel appearing before the Tribunal. Thank you. Mr. John Jones, please. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for Council appearing before the Tribunal. Mr. Vansan Kursal Rabus. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with in integrity and diligence, honorably freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for counsel appearing before the tribunal. Mr. Emil Aoun, please. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duties and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other, du and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for counsel appearing before the tribunal.
Mr. Gwemil, Metro, please. I solemnly declare that I will perform my duty and exercise my profession before the Special Tribunal for Lebanon with integrity and diligence, honorably, freely, expeditiously, and conscientiously, and that I will scrupulously respect professional confidentiality and the other duties imposed by the Code of Professional Conduct for counsel appearing before the Tribunal. Thank you, Madam Registrar, and welcome to our new council. It's a great pleasure to see you here today. It's also a great pleasure to hear the declarations made in the three languages of our tribunal. Uh, I mentioned in passing that this is the last occasion, I sincerely hope, on which you will be delayed uh, in court beginning. Uh, it's our practice to begin on time and in future that will occur. I'm going to address you for symbolic uh, reasons in, the, in two of the, our three languages. We meet today uh, in the Antonio Cassese courtroom of the Special Tribunal for Lebanon following the decision of the trial chamber to hold a hearing in absentia of four accused and the appointment by Maître Roux, head of defense of leading and co-counsel for each of the tribunal is to hear and determine the charges brought by the prosecutor in accordance with the highest standards of international criminal law. Our statute states a number of rights to which an accused is entitled in accordance with those standards. Among them is the presumption of innocence expressed by the rules that no one may be convicted except on admissible evidence by which the prosecution proves its case beyond reasonable doubt. Il appartient au juge de décider si l'accusation... It is up uh, to the judge to decide whether uh, the allegations by the prosecutors have been proved beyond reasonable done, uh, doubt. They are helped by strong and principled defense experts and defense counsel. And equally able and honest prosecution experts. Uh, defense counsel carry an immense burden. They are to be respected as professional experts whose role is critical to the fairness of a trial and thus to the credibility of the tribunal's processes. Be protected and assisted in the proper exercise of your function. The classic image is of justice as a judiciary blindfolded from either bias, from, from any bias for either side, holding scales that are equally balanced except for the presumption of innocence. That equal balance requires equality of arms. Such equality requires that prosecution and defense be of equal status. That is why the statute of this tribunal has created a defense office complementary to that of the prosecution with head of defense of equal status to the prosecutor. The appointment to that office of leading counsel respected for his experience independence and integrity, ensures that the defense counsel he selects will ensure performance by the defense 
of both their functions. Courageous, able, and single-minded dedication to the interests of the accused, subject only to due performance of their obligations to the tribunal. Its task is to act justly with such expedition on our part as is consistent with the absolute right of the accused to a fair trial. That you have different backgrounds and experience and have been selected after a rigorous process will add to the overall strength of the defence and thus the strength of the justice administered by the tribunal. La procedure per de a trial in absentia presents particular challenges, not least for a defense counsel. Trials in absentia have been accepted as legitimate provided certain vital safeguards are provided. With those safeguards in place, there can be a fair trial of accused, which would also avoid the injustice to victims. Uh, that their case uh, cannot be heard, or to the community that there can be no close public analysis of how sudden death or other injury has come about. Safeguards are, first of all, adequate notice to the accused, and thus an opportunity to come forward to take part in the trial. A second is the fact that at any stage before or after verdict, an accused may present himself and receive a fresh trial, unaffected by what has happened during the proceedings in absentia, which provides a guarantee against injustice recognized by both the authors of the STL statute and the European Court of Human Rights. C'est pour cela qu'aujourd'hui... Is the reason why... But rightly so, the emphasis today is upon the third essential safeguard of fair trial, which of course applies to every form of trial, an effective right to competent legal representation. It is very much to be hoped that seeing the quality of defense counsel, the accused will come forward and participate in a conventional trial in which counsel have the benefit of their client's instructions. Unless and until that occurs, defense counsel will have the heavy responsibility of deciding themselves what they perceive to be in the interest, in the accused's best interests. You gentlemen and colleagues to the Special Tribunal for Lebanon, I wish you well in exercising the vital role you have accepted, both for protecting the rights of the accused and in the interests of the rule of law in Lebanon and the international community. You're welcome. That concludes the formal processes of this morning. There will be, I'm pleased to learn, a social event later in the day in which we'll be able to shake hands with you. We'll retire. All rise.